Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to try out this super fun dye your own yarn kit. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so I have the yarn soaking. I'm warming up water and uh, we're going to see how this, how this goes. Basically, you soak the wool first so that all the fibers are damp. And um, while that's going on, we're going to take this jar and we're going to put this dye into the jar with uh, some hot water. We're going to stir it until it's dissolved. And then we're going to uh, submerge the yarn into this, which seems like kind of a tight fit, but we're going to use the kit. <laughs> um, and uh, you let it sit until it's uh, clear. And then we're going to steam it for 20 minutes and then we're going to let it rinse out and then we can hang it to dry. So it's kind of a process to dye yarn, but um, I don't know, I've been wanting to try it out for a while and Jada was kind enough to send the kit for me to try out. So we're going to see what we get. Here's the yarn in the sink. I just put it in with um, warm water. I'm letting it sit submerged and you don't want to agitate it or do a lot because you can felt the wool and the wool is so beautiful we don't want to do that. Um, I took it out of the wrapped skein uh, so I'm not really sure how all of that is going to stuff down into that little tiny jar but we'll see what we get. Okay I'm doing this outside it's summer I feel like that's a really good time to try out the yarn dyeing process because it's kind of messy and you can you know do it outside and be well ventilated uh, so that's what i'm doing um, the instructions are pretty clear uh, they recommend that you have rubber gloves and a particle protective mask okay so i don't have a particle protective mask but i have a damp paper towel i'm gonna hold that over my um, face while I pour out the dye which is here and um, I have these gloves so we'll just use those um, yeah so the yarn dyeing it really takes a lot of stuff I didn't expect it would need uh, so many things to do something that seems like such a simple kit so with yarn dyeing all of these amazing indie dyers, they just make it look so simple. And like they crank out these weekly shop updates with all of this gorgeous product and they make it look like it's easy and um, it's not. So we're about to experiment with our own yarn dyeing process. My um, wool has been uh, soaking and I have hot water here and uh, so the instructions say that what you're supposed to do and we'll just read them put on rubber gloves and particle mask and pour the package of dye into the container fill the container with a cup of hot water hot but not boiling stir well with a plastic spoon until all the dye is dissolved it's important because dye particles settling at the bottom will give a very dark color blotch. This is an all-in-one dye which has an acid component and a leveling agent essential to stabilize dye bath at the correct pH level. Okay, so once you have this in the jar and the water on it and you've stirred it and it's dissolved, you don't need the mask anymore. Um, okay, so once the dye is dissolved, Push the wet skein of yarn all the way into the container until it's submerged. Be careful, the water is hot. Give it a good push. This will give you a gradient color skein since the wool that hits the dye first will soak up more dye than the top layer of the skein. This method is not meant to achieve an overall uniform color, which is kind of what I want anyway. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> I'm just going to like sort of carefully pop the top on this because I'll never be able to do this with one hand. All right, here we go. I don't mind if it's a little bit splotchy because 
I like speckles and all that stuff. So anyway, here we go. We're gonna take our our yarn, which um, oh, it's very sheepy. I'm just gonna like squeeze it out over the the patio. Okay, so I um, you yeah, undid it from the twist from the hang the the skein back to a hang. Okay, and now we're just going to shove it down. I had my doubts about whether all of this was actually going to fit in here, but it's it's fine. Might top it off. Oh, I don't have any more water. Um. Oh, yes, I do. There we go. Okay. Okay, so what we do now is put the top on. And now you just let this um, sit until it's clear. And when this is clear, that means the um, fiber has absorbed all of the dye. And then we will do the, um, I guess the, the finishing process where we like really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Where we really secure the color to the fiber, make it color fast, and that's going to involve um, steaming. So it's got several parts to it, but anyway, there we go. It's in there. It's doing its thing. Uh, so we'll just um, we'll let it go, and I will um, keep track on a timer, and we'll see uh, how long this takes. Okay, I I will see you in a bit because it doesn't say on here. How long it would take okay so we just let it sit in the container until it's clear until all the dye is absorbed set the dye that's the word I was looking for so to set the dye we're gonna do it on the stovetop so I have to uh, give up one of my um, stock pots and my steamer but the steamer I can replace pretty easily um, no problem uh, but the stock pot, um, I figure I do want to try some more yarn, yarn dyeing, so I'll give up that stock pot to make yarn. And it's fine because actually I really haven't even used them since I got the instant pot, so it's, it's really okay. Um, all right, that's enough digression. I'll check back in with you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm out in the um, garage part of my house, and look how pretty this is. You can sort of, I don't know if you can see or not, but I can tip. Can't really see on the video. Um, yeah, I can tip it and just see that, oh, there you can sort of see the green. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, I'm going to actually put this over here with my plants because it's a rosemary color, so I thought it might be fun if I let it uh, sort of sit out here in the sun with the with the garden stuff to um, to do its thing. Okay, so it doesn't, uh, the water does not run out at all of this jar, which is kind of cool, but look how pretty that is. Ooh. It's been about three hours and <laughs> the yarn looks pretty good to me. Um, I'm going to Get it out of that jar and the next step is to wrap it in plastic wrap and then it has to simmer over uh, hot water for like 20 minutes so that's what we're going to do next we're going to get it out of the the container which is over here it's hard to see because of the light um we'll see what we've got i'm super excited it looks pretty so far let me show you so I let it just um, sit out here, kind of with my garden, and you can see the water is pretty much clear. I mean, it's close enough. Look how pretty that is. Ooh. So we're gonna um, we're gonna take it out now and see what we have.
yarn is like right there. It's steaming. Ooh, the instructions say, um, bring the water to a light simmer, place the coils in your steamer basket and simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. We're just gonna go 20. Do not use anything used for dyeing again for food. So this will be a dye pot now. Um, be careful not to handle skein coils with bare hands, they're hot. Wait for them to cool completely before you unwrap them. Once cooled, rinse the yarn in tepid water in the sink, but not under running water. It can felt the wool. Squeeze out excess water and hang dry. Okay. So we're at about 16 and a half minutes. When that's done, uh, we'll just, we'll turn this thing off. We'll let the, um, the yarn cool down. And then um, I guess I can just use the same pot and have cool water in it and let the, uh, let the yarn rinse out in there and then we'll hang it and <laughs> we'll see what we've got. It's exciting. Okay, the yarn has had about 10 minutes and the cool soak. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna do my best to show you what's going on, but it's not easy out here. You're not really gonna be able to appreciate this until I'm able to photograph it properly. And I'm just trying to be so careful because I don't wanna felt up this gorgeous yarn. There it is. It's a gorgeous tunnel. It smells wonderful. It's so sheepy. I'm I'm gonna hang it up over here in the garden. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm gonna hang it up over here in the garden and uh, let it get afternoon sun on it. And hopefully that will dry um, pretty quick. So we'll see. And hopefully the birds don't get all over it because the birds are really active today. Oh, here comes a lizard. Hello. A skink, that's what they call them. All right, guys, the uh, yarn is uh, dyed. It's been set. It's over drying in the garden. Look at the green. It just matches all of the greenery of the garden so well. It is the next morning and my yarn is dry. I left it until um, pretty close to sunset on the, uh, the garden obelisk that I shared with you. And then I brought it in and I let it hang on the same hanger, kind of close to where I run the dehumidifier in the house. And it dried overnight and I re, I re skeined it and look at what I've got. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It's just taken all that glorious. I made that. I'm so excited. This is sort of an, an error. Um, <clears throat> I guess I had some dye in the bottom that wasn't quite um, dissolved. So I got that little imperfection. But, you know, that's what speckles are. <laughs> speckles are where you just drop the um, the dye onto the yarn in, in gobs, light gobs, but you know, still, that's how you speckle. So I've got like a little speckle action happening up here, but oh, isn't that pretty? I'm even proud of the way that I was able to um, reskein it. Uh, I'll take it out so you can see it. So, um, So it's kind of a tie-dye effect when you look at it, but I think when it's knitted, that's gonna be really pretty. It's just because that jar is small and when you, you know, sh kind of shove the yarn down into the 
to the jar, it's not going to be evenly distributed. But I think when that's knitted up, that's going to be really pretty. I can't wait to do something with it anyway. Um, it's 50 grams <clears throat> of a fingering weight yarn. So I'll have to um, mix it with something else. And I actually think that I have some really pretty uh, plucky and a pink that's the same weight and I think that they'll play really well together so I'll probably knit something with um, this and that plucky together like a prob probably like a triangular shawl that I can wear so anyway I'm super proud of it I'm going to take nicer pictures of it obviously um, so that you can really see the the, uh, the end product but I like it I actually was watching the uh, Craftsy dye your own yarn course last night because I have that unlimited so I can watch whatever I want which I love and I'm going to try some of this out I'm super excited about it so yay there it is alright this is how you rescan it you just you hold one end stable and then you just wrap and you wrap and you wrap it like crazy until it starts to twist up on itself and then you bring it together and then you pull one end through and then there it is it's not it's not professional but I can learn so anyway yeah look at that I did that hooray Okay, so um, my final thoughts on this yarn dyeing kit are that it's really, really fun. Um, it's easy. It does take some planning ahead. It does take having a few extra things. Um, you either have to be willing to give up a pan and a steamer. I was, you know, I used my instant pot for everything, so that pot has just been sitting there. <clears throat> so it's fine. And I know I want to do more. Um, so you do have to know that you're, you want to give up something, or you can go find something in the, um, the secondhand store. I had fun doing this. Um, if you want to try yarn dyeing, I would say this is a good way to get started. I also think that this would be a fun um, gift for somebody like at Christmas, you know, rather than just gifting your friend with the usual yarn or whatever, gift them with something like this. And you could have like, um, if you have a knitting group or friends that all like to get together and craft, you know, get everybody one and then do them together as an afternoon activity. You're going to have to let it dry overnight. You're not going to, um, you're not going to have it right away. It does have to dry, but gosh, it's so worth it. I, I'm super excited about this. So, okay. Uh, yeah. So the, um, the kit, uh, from green designs, wild lilac moon is a definite yes. And I'll give you links below to where she's got everything. And I would say go for it. Okay. That's, uh, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing my uh, attempt at dye work, which I kind of like it. I, I, I like the tonality. I'm super, oh gosh, I'm super excited. I can't wait to knit it. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.